now I'm gonna kind of go over like what I did and like honestly I kind of forgot to record a lot of it <laughs> I kind of just recorded the start of like the, what my morning looks like the day before drill like getting ready um things I do like every morning but um yeah I'll get into like what I'm like doing now what we did at drill um this past weekend but uh what we first did we had a lot of things on the computer that we had to do um like trainings annual trainings we do like every year um they're called like duo we also got trainings on uh how to like assemble humvees if we were like stationed somewhere so we learned a lot about that next um we got um some briefs about life insurance and the additional things we could do if we wanted to add on to our life insurance because we already have um we're already covered by the military for life insurance but they offered us some more if we have like a family or we have more things that we need to take care of if i were to pass away or something happened so we also had like a seaburn training um we had this when i went to ait which is after basic training this is like where you perform your job i'm a seven four delta which is seaburn um we went over a class of like how to collect samples and how to um properly like seal them away and um just stuff like that uh for the site for delta job if we had to take a sample or something we you to see three meals a day of month uh breakfast lunch dinner and then there's a px there which is like uh, a military grocery store kind of um, you can get like snacks and stuff and you can get energy drinks, Gatorade, snacks, whatever you really want. It kind of has everything. And then finally at night, uh, not a lot of people do this. A lot of people just want to like relax and chill. But uh, I went to the Camp Ripley gym, which is pretty solid. There's two of them. I went to like the junkie one, but like it still had everything you needed. But uh, I just do that at night because you're done with everything. And then, um, yeah, so we got up early around, I think I got up at like 6.30 cause I didn't really want to eat breakfast there. So we left at eight o'clock, uh, the van that I took up there because usually our, my drill is usually at Hastings or Red Wing, usually at Hastings, but this time was up in Camp Ripley just because our unit's gone and they want us to be around like more people. Cause there's only like 25 people on unit right now. 150 of them are at Kuwait this time it was at camp ripley which is like two hours and 30 minutes from woodbury so i was like eh i could care less to drive i'll just take uh the free transportation so i took that up there and we left at eight o'clock on sunday got home around i got home around like 11 30 or something like that because i had to get dropped off at hastings where my car was at and then i drove home from there and i mean that's pretty much it it's kind of uh pretty chill for a drill weekend you don't really do a lot. I mean, it's kind of uh, just catching up on things, making sure your training's all um, in order. You get like your height and weight so that you're in like the military uh, regulation and you're not getting overweight or underweight. But I mean, drill weekend is pretty relaxed as long as you have everything in check and like you're not getting out of physical shape because that's the one thing the military does make you stay in. If you do get out of shape, they can cut you loose and take away all the benefits and cut your contract short. I mean, that's not really a problem for me because I tend to like fitness and uh, that's kind of why I joined the military because you get paid to work out. But for some people, that's a big thing is like they can't stay in shape. So they end up uh, getting kicked out of the military. I'm new, so I had to kind of like talk to a lot of new people, but I talked to like the AGR people. So they're active duty in Minnesota and they kind of run the unit every single day when we only come in two to three days a month to do our drill. So I talked to two of the sergeants and they're pretty cool. And then I talked to uh, one of the staff sergeants for a while one night, he, uh, he likes to work out like me. And so this video was kind of um, supposed to like show you guys what I do um, in the military because a lot of people think like, yo when are you leaving next or stuff like that because they don't really know that like there's 
different routes of the military. Obviously, there's the active duty where, like, it's your full-time job. Or there's the National Guard or Reserves where you pretty much work three or two days a month. And you get majority of the benefits that active duty people get. But you obviously don't get the active duty pay. You get drill pay, which for me is around 200 to $300 each drill. Kind of depends what drills you do because there's muta two, muta four, and muta sixes. Uh, the difference is like a muta two is a one day drill, a muta four is a two day drill, and then a muta six is like a three day drill. So this weekend was a muta six because um, it was Friday through Sunday or kind of Friday through Saturday because you pretty much leave on Sunday. So, so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Um, if you do have any questions about joining the military, uh, feel free to reach out to me uh, because I've done this and, you know, I'm not going to, like, force you like maybe a recruiter might. I'm, I'm going to tell you, like, the truth. I'm not going to lie to you. Obviously, the basic training in AIT was tough, but, uh, I mean, if you want something in life, you got to kind of take the punches and, you know, work around it. But, yeah. It was a good learning experience, um, and now I kind of reef the benefits after doing those hard 20 weeks. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to find me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it.